If you look at the history of liberalism, early liberalism was sort of John Locke uh, inspired the conservatives in America. And John Locke said that, that liberty is uh, something that's innate to man, granted by God, granted by nature, uh, and that we have a right to life, liberty, and property. And that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men uh, with what seems to them to be prudent to secure those rights. And if the government should fail to provide those protection of those rights, that it's, it, we still retain the right to revolt, actually, to, to overthrow the government and to secure our freedoms by a, a more prudent system. Okay, now this is not democracy. This is, in fact, the system in America is supposed to protect protect you from the majority if the majority is trying to trample your rights. Mm. It's quite individualistic, but that's not the only flavor of of classical liberalism. Uh, Jean Jacques Rousseau in France thought that the he was also an anti monarchist and he was also what we would call a liberal, but he believed that that the liberty was also innate. And also came from nature, that men were naturally free before civilization arose, before society arose. But he thought social institutions were the source of all uh, oh, yes. uh, slavery. Okay? He thought that the, that the creation of the, the private property was not, a, was not a liberty, but was in fact an imposition on liberty. Because when you create private property, you create theft. Obviously, you can't have theft when there's no property, right? Because everything is free. Everything, 